Caregiving can sometimes feel like an impossible struggle. Caregivers may be torn between taking care of loved ones and trying to maintain balance in life. The good news is that it doesn't have to be that way. The Caring Generation with host Pamela D. Wilson is here to focus on the conversation of caring. You're not alone. In fact, you're in exactly the right place to share stories and learn tips and resources to help you and your loved ones. So now, please welcome the host of The Caring Generation, Pamela D. Wilson. This is Pamela D. Wilson, caregiving expert, speaker, consultant, and guardian of The Caring Generation. The Caring Generation focuses on the conversation of caring, giving us permission to talk about aging, the challenges of caregiving, and everything in between. It's no surprise that needing care or becoming a caregiver changes everything. The Caring Generation is here to guide you along the journey, to let you know that you're not alone. You are in exactly the right place to share stories and learn about caregiving programs and resources to help you and your loved ones plan for what's ahead. Invite your aging parents, spouses, family, friends, and colleagues at work to listen to the show. If you have a question or an idea for a future program, share your idea with me by responding to my social media posts on Facebook Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, and LinkedIn. This week, the topic is the impact of dementia on spouses. When your spouse has dementia, Alzheimer's, or any type of memory loss diagnosis, it is essential to learn how to prepare for dementia care. You may have questions like how dementia affects your relationships or What is the impact of dementia on family members? You might be wondering about the emotional or financial impact of dementia on the family. During this program, I'll answer questions posed by family caregivers and talk specifically about the impact of dementia on spouses, including what happens when multiple health complications exist. We'll also discuss how to process the emotional loss of a changing relationship with a spouse who may be your best friend. First, I want to touch briefly on the importance of discussing memory loss, obtaining a diagnosis, and being realistic about health planning if you have not already done this. If you missed the show last week, search for episode 140, Being Realistic About a Parent's Health, on my website or one of the podcast apps that carry the program like Apple, Spreaker, or Spotify. Gain insights about why loved ones avoid talking about health concerns and how to move conversations forward. For caregivers who say, my wife has dementia or I have a husband with dementia, you probably already have a diagnosis and are beginning to see the impact of dementia on spouses. But for those who say, hmm, I think my husband has dementia or maybe my wife has dementia, how can you know? Definitively for Alzheimer's, it takes a brain autopsy after death, but long before that, There is memory testing that can be done with a primary care doctor, blood tests, CT, MRI, or PET scans that can help diagnose dementia and Alzheimer's disease or even something else. Memory loss can be caused by deficiencies in vitamin B12 or complications from taking other medications, which is why it's important to seek a definitive diagnosis. Why is diagnosing important when some people believe that Alzheimer's is a death sentence? It's important to know because someone has to be the caregiver. Becoming knowledgeable about the diagnosis allows the person diagnosed and the caregiver to plan for progressing memory loss. The impact of dementia on spouses is nothing to ignore or sweep under the rug. Dementia has a significant effect on the life of the spousal caregiver. Some spouses even consider leaving or divorcing a spouse with dementia. This is more true if this is a second marriage situation and one spouse was previously a caregiver in a prior marital relationship. They may not want to do this again. 
While leaving or divorcing a spouse with dementia happens, this is less common than learning how to live with someone with Alzheimer's. Learning about the impact of dementia on spouses begins with looking at health risks that coexist with memory loss. Additionally, many ask about the difference between dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Dr. Jonathan Graf Radford from the Mayo Clinic has an article that discusses the difference called Alzheimer's and Dementia. What's the difference? I'll put a link in the show's transcript to the article. I also interviewed Dr. Graf Radford on the Caring Generation podcast episode 11. It's called The Signs of Dementia Checklist. So if you don't know whether a loved one has dementia or memory loss, listening to this podcast will give you examples of things to look for. Visit my website, PamelaDWilson.com, click on the upper tab that says Media, and then The Caring Generation, where you can scroll through to find this episode and, as of this program, over 140 episodes of The Caring Generation podcasts. Additionally, on this topic, the National Institute on Aging has an excellent research page called the Alzheimer's Disease called the Alzheimer's Disease Genetic Fact Sheet. Sorry, I got a little tongue-tied there. This answers the question, does Alzheimer's disease run in families? Because many caregivers want to know this. Confirming a diagnosis of memory loss allows married couples and families to plan ahead for the impact of dementia on spouses. If you've never been in a situation caring for a spouse, elderly parent, or grandparent before, you may not know how to prepare for dementia in advance. In addition to dementia or Alzheimer's, your loved one may have other health conditions that can complicate day-to-day care. Chronic conditions that result in more time devoted to care needs include arthritis, osteoporosis, diabetes, heart disease, and breathing issues like COPD. Poor health and physical disabilities may further complicate spousal caregiving relationships if both spouses are over age 65. Concerns of the caregiver spouse can increase when there is a lot to manage day to day. In all situations of caring for a dementia spouse, the husband or wife without dementia must be extra attentive to their health and care needs. Being the primary caregiver in a spouse situation can be incredibly isolating and result in feelings of depression and hopelessness. Becoming solely responsible for things that a couple previously managed together can be daunting, especially if managing care and a household takes substantial time and effort. Know that the Alzheimer's spouse, over time, may become increasingly needy to the point where they want to be constantly with the healthy spouse. Adult children wishing to support parents who have their own careers and may be raising their own children can experience off-the-chart stress levels. Adult child caregivers often feel pulled between caring for aging parents employment, and family relationships. When you add family caregiving to any life situation, and on top of this, one or more major health conditions, exhaustion can result, and care situations can feel impossible to manage. So let's answer the question of how dementia affects the spouse with dementia and the caregiver's spouse. Let's assume that the spouse with dementia is generally healthy. In this case, as forgetfulness increases, more assistance is needed with routine activities. No surprise there. So what are these activities? They are things like reminders to take medication, shower, change clothing, eat, and participate in daily activities. If or when the dementia spouse refuses to participate, These struggles add to the negative impact of dementia on caregiver spouses. In addition, when memory loss further affects daily activities, there may be changes in mood or increasing behaviors. 
Behaviors of loved ones having memory loss can significantly impact spouses when responses to requests result in refusals, disagreeableness, or even in physical or verbal aggressiveness that create more work and challenges for the caregiver. Because of this, the caregiver spouse may need to establish routines and weekly schedules to manage the impact of dementia on marriage. The impact of dementia on spouses can result in daily battles for control. Caregivers can reach a point where they wonder if learning how to deal with a spouse with Alzheimer's will erase years of their life and everything they loved about being married. Worry or feelings of regret lead to critical points about the necessity of self-care for caregivers. If both spouses are retired and the spouse with dementia cannot be left alone for safety or other reasons, the caregiver spouse must make time away from the care situation for their own needs. This means creating and maintaining outside friendships and socializing that might have previously only been a couple activity. It's likely but not guaranteed that the caregiver spouse will outlive the dementia spouse. Sometimes the caregiver spouse actually dies first. So, having established friendships and participating in social activities on an ongoing basis is very supportive for the caregiver spouse's health and well-being and can be supported after the caregiver loses their spouse. Alzheimer's and dementia are life-affecting. This is no secret. The stress of being the primary caregiver changes the marital relationship. One day, you are a husband or a wife, and the next day, all you are is a caregiver. The shift to becoming a caregiver can feel like a major loss. Spouses in good marital relationships may feel like they are losing their best friend, a confidant, and a lover. On the other hand, spousal caregivers who have remained married but who are in a strained relationship may become resentful, angry, and feel trapped in a caregiving situation over which they have little or no control. I know this because in my counseling sessions, I speak to married couples, and what I can tell you is that married couples with an early memory loss diagnosis who spend time planning for the future together fare better. These couples weather the impact of dementia on spouses better than those who don't plan. Then there are other spousal dementia situations where a wife or a husband feels stuck because their spouse refuses outside help or assistance. For example, a spouse refuses to allow caregivers into the home so that the caregiver spouse can have time away from caregiving. There are other cases where a spouse, male or female, needs substantial care. This level of care may require the caregiver spouse to be awake all night, provide incontinence or toileting assistance, or even help physically transfer a spouse or help a spouse move around the house. These situations where the primary caregiver does it all by choice or by not receiving help can be physically and emotionally demanding and risky. A dementia spouse who needs substantial physical assistance can risk a fall or other injuries. The caregiver's spouse can also become injured. The impact of dementia on spouses affects each spouse to different degrees. At some point, the spouse with dementia may be past the stage of understanding the consequences of situations where, for example, if a fall occurs, the consequences place both spouses at risk of physical harm. What do you have then? Two spouses who need care, who are unable to remain in a home environment, and who both may have to move to a nursing home. If there are no children in the family to offer support, when this happens, the options for both spouses can be extremely limited. Making decisions under pressure or in a crisis is why 
obtaining a diagnosis, researching future care options, and having honest conversations are critical before health concerns worsen for the spouse with dementia and the spouse caregiver. Adult children can be helpful in these situations by being realistic and honest about the support they can or cannot provide. Important to know is that dementia can result from many health conditions that begin in middle age. For example, high blood pressure grows into other heart conditions if not well managed. Diabetes can result in circulatory issues that affect the brain, issues with the kidneys, neuropathy in the feet, vision problems, many, many issues. Having a stroke or being diagnosed with Parkinson's disease can eventually result in dementia. All of these are reasons to pay attention to your health and learn about health conditions when you are young so that you can be healthy when older instead of being diagnosed with multiple health conditions that require a great deal of care and support from others. So let's say you are a spousal caregiver for a husband or wife with dementia or Alzheimer's disease. Your husband or wife has multiple health conditions. You might feel that life as you know it is over. You can't turn back the clock. Or you may be early in a care situation and see your future. You know that eventually struggling, being frustrated, being a 24-7 caregiver may be your life situation. So the question to ask yourself is, what steps can you take today to preserve your health and well-being? We'll talk about managing life as the primary caregiver when you've lost half of your support system, your spouse, and you may be feeling defeated or lost after this break. Pay it forward to help others dealing with health, aging, or caregiving issues by sharing information about this show and my website, PamelaDWilson.com. The Caring Generation is available worldwide on my website and your favorite podcast and music apps, including Apple, Spotify, Spreaker, and others. You can find links to all of these on my website. As a caregiver, know that you don't have to go it alone. Caregiving doesn't have to be a do-it-yourself job that you figure out. Visit my website, PamelaDWilson.com, to find articles in my caregiving library and blog. And for those interested in detailed information and education about how to care for loved ones, click on the How I Help tab, then Support Caring for Elderly Parents online course. This is Pamela D. Wilson on The Caring Generation. Stay with me. I'll be right back. This is Pamela D. Wilson, caregiving expert, author, and speaker on The Caring Generation. If you're looking for answers to caregiving, aging, and health questions, visit and share my website, PamelaDWilson.com, where you will find my caregiving library, Caring for Aging Parents blog, my book, The Caregiving Trap, online caregiver courses, and more. Let's return to talking about the impact of dementia on spouses and What you can do if you're experiencing stress, anxiety, exhaustion, or feeling a little hopeless. The first recommendation is to acknowledge the pain and grief that you feel. A life-changing diagnosis like dementia or even cancer can be a shock. Plans that you had for your life or retirement and other hopes and dreams may be stalled or ended. If this is your situation, learning how to accept and adapt to problems may take a plan of action. Listen to the Caring Generation podcast, episode 92, What to Do When Your Elderly Parents Give Up on Life, for more on this topic. On this program, I interview Rich Alderton about learning how to adapt This can reduce fear and uncertainty about life situations. 
As a caregiver or a person diagnosed with dementia, you may feel like giving up on life. Unexpected life situations can have anyone feeling a little defeated now and then. The path forward is figuring out how to pick ourselves up and keep going. When you are a caregiver, the impact of dementia on spouses can leave you unsure about your next move. What do you do next? There may be times when bouncing back feels impossible, or you feel overwhelmed, and you don't have the energy to keep fighting. Identifying ways to shift mental perspective in care situations and other life challenges can help you manage feeling discouraged or lost or hopeless. Caregivers can feel like they're failing when loved ones refuse care, when a spouse's behavior becomes difficult, or health conditions continue to go downhill. In truth, as a caregiver, you're doing the best you can under the circumstances and the situations that were handed to you. Recognize that without your efforts, your husband, wife, or the person for whom you care would be in a much less advantageous situation. There may also be times when you feel that your dreams for your future or retirement seem out of reach. By focusing on steps to get where you want to go, instead of dwelling on not hitting the destination of the end game, you can become more effective in managing emotions and setting aside disappointments. So to do this, what's your next step? Identify and concentrate on what to do next. Then document the progress you make every day so that you can look back in a week or a couple of weeks and a month and see that even though it may be painstakingly slow, you're moving closer to your goal. Traditional wisdom says to focus on the bright side and be optimistic. I agree with this, however, it can be challenging to do this when you are a caregiver, 24 hours a day, seven days each week, and you have no one to give you a break. Your world consists of nothing but caregiving. Being isolated and alone takes us back to the idea of gaining perspective. To regain perspective, you must remove yourself from caregiving for consistent periods each week so that you can see that there is this big world out there. Now, being realistic, the problem that taking time off from caregiving duties can create is that you may see everyone else going on and enjoying their lives. They're getting married, having careers, traveling, having fun, and you have to return to what you see as a caregiving prison. The impact of dementia on spouses means recognizing negative or self-destructive behaviors and working hard, really hard, to find solutions. Try to avoid comparing your life to others. You have no idea what obstacles or setbacks others experience. Their lives might look easy from the outside, but inside, they may be struggling under the surface. More practical advice is to ask, are you complaining? If so, quit. Complaining leads to more negativity. It won't get you where you want to be. It won't make you happier. Instead, use the time you might spend complaining or worrying by taking action to figure out how to improve or change your situation. Make time each day, each week for yourself. By doing more of what you love and spending time with friends, you'll find the inspiration to keep going on days when you'd rather give up. By investigating and becoming more aware of options, you will see that hope exists. Again, start a daily diary, write down things that you do for yourself. This will allow you to begin balancing things that make you feel good with things that stress you out by 
creating this ever-growing list. Sometimes it can be hard to realize how simple things can affect moods, positively or negatively. Something that your spouse says to you could set you off on a negative path. Hearing a song from years ago could positively impact your mood. The impact of dementia on spouses can be a life event that lasts for longer than you might ever imagine. Caregivers in my online or in-person support groups will confirm that they thought being a caregiver was a short or time-limited experience. And today, after 5, 10, 15, 20 years, they are still caregivers. Time frames related to being caregivers are another reason why making a plan to live your life married, but in a sense separate if your spouse is diagnosed with dementia or Alzheimer's, is mandatory. The impact of dementia on spouses means that your husband or wife with dementia will eventually need total care while you may be healthy and still want to live your life to the fullest. Marital vows to care for each other in sickness and poor health doesn't mean that the healthy spouse has to become sick because the other spouse is sick. The choices we make in health and lifestyle throughout our lives result in the quality of our lives when older. If you are a middle-aged or retired caregiver, you may realize how much you need and miss having friends in your life. If you had children, they might be grown up and off living their lives. The impact of dementia on spouses and being a caregiver leads to losses and trade-offs. All caregivers experience this. Think about your life and your friendships. How many relationships changed because of marriage, becoming a parent, sickness, friends moving away, divorce, or death? Life is ever-changing. While we feel more comfortable when it's predictable and stable, this isn't always realistic. Sometimes it does take a jolt, like a diagnosis of Alzheimer's disease or another unexpected life event, to set in motion thoughts about how we want our life to be. We can become too comfortable. We can become too complacent. And all of a sudden, years have passed and we're looking back saying, "Ah, why didn't I do that thing? Why didn't I do this? The impact of dementia, as tragic as it can be, The impact of dementia on spouses allows married couples to make the best of today and plan for changes relating to increasing memory loss. Maybe you want to spend more time with friends today or with family or take that vacation you always wanted to take. Is it time to downsize your home and move to something more manageable for the spouse who will become the primary caregiver? What other actions can you take today so that when a husband or wife's care needs increase, you already have systems and processes in place to respond positively? The answer to how do you survive a spouse with dementia or my husband has dementia, how do I cope, is to be as proactive as possible, as early as possible. As soon as you suspect memory loss, get it tested. As soon as you have that diagnosis, create a plan. While it may be challenging, if you are the caregiver, to allow the denial of others to hold you back from planning, your needs and your health must also be considered. The impact of dementia on spouses means having honest discussions about how much extensive care a spouse with memory loss will need or want. It also means having honest discussions about the fact that the caregiver spouse will need time for themselves, will need to take care of themselves, and more than likely, they will outlive the spouse with dementia. If you can't answer the question of how much extensive care a spouse with memory care will need or want, make an appointment with your doctor Schedule an advanced care plan meeting. It is covered by the Medicare program. 
Then other things to do. Get all of your documents in order. That means medical power of attorney, financial power of attorney, living will, will or trust. Research and discuss care costs so you know what you're looking at. Look at your financial accounts, your savings, your retirement funds, your social security. Be realistic about providing care for a husband or wife with dementia and also be unselfish about how the surviving spouse will continue with their life. These are difficult but necessary conversations to be proactive about the impact of dementia on spouses. These are practical discussions that all families should have about caregiving. For example, who will be the caregiver? How will care be provided? What care will be needed? How will you pay for care? What are the medical diagnoses that we're looking at? What are the consequences of these in the future? These discussions are not limited to people with dementia or Alzheimer's. They can benefit all families, especially if these conversations happen before aging parents begin to decline or before you are diagnosed with a health condition and need care. Thank you for joining me in this difficult conversation about the impact of dementia on spouses. I hope that you found some helpful information here. And if you have not, that one of your next steps is to create a plan and have honest discussions about the impact of dementia on spouses. Please share The Caring Generation and my website, PamelaDWilson.com, with everyone you know interested in proven, reliable tips, information, resources, and research about caregiving, aging health, and everything in between. This is Pamela D. Wilson, caregiving expert, advocate, and speaker. I look forward to being with you again soon. God bless you all. I'm sending love, light, positive thoughts to everyone. Sleep well tonight. Have a fabulous day tomorrow and enjoy each day until we are here together again. Tune in each week for The Caring Generation with host Pamela D. Wilson. Come join the conversation and see how Pamela can provide solutions and peace of mind for everyone. Here on Pamela D. Wilson's The Caring Generation.